Thank you, frame 31. Quiet down, please, thank you. Mark Williams to break. Shh. Well, John, Higgins having a look, see if he can get past the yellow for the half ball pot, but I don't think he can. Well, he thinks he can. Bend it a little bit of left hand side. Ooh, how bad did he hit that? Well, if he's not left anything, he's been very fortunate. No, he's, he can't believe it. He's tried to play that with left-hand side and got nothing on it. What a gift. Well. Eight. Nine. Well, there's a lovely angle on the black. Miss the, the red that's closest to the black, going to the right-hand side of the bunch, screw the cue ball through them. He's hit it pretty good. Sixteen. Yeah, just need a little bit more backspin to develop that red. And if he'd come out a bit more, he would have been on one to the middle. I think this is a, a cut, thin one, but it does cut. And in it goes, OK, it's just the blue, but being on the tender, he won't mind that, he's on the yellow. OK, he's not got the blue on his spot, but he's got the pink in open play and the black available into both corner pockets. Decent chance. 19. 18. That. 26. Pink on the blue spot. Another 35 points needed from this position to get to snookers required. 34. I'm looking at the frame times, John. There's only been one frame over 30 minutes. Which you, you might have thought between these two, you'd get a few tactical frames, but it's been an incredible standard. Yeah, there you saw it, just over 16 minutes. The average shot time. But I think both players throughout this final have set the stall out. If they, if they see a red that's on, 41. they're going to go for it. Yeah, it's been proper snooker. But this is a very tough red to left middle. Yeah, you called it. <laughs> They're not Paul easy, Williams, those. 41. But he's not left anything. Not nothing easy. But he'll just be... I mean, he doesn't look edgy, Mark, but he'll just be the fact he can't seem to get a frame now in one visit. You know, he's sat in his chair now fearing the worst in this frame for what's gone on so far.
obviously Mark wants to keep those five reds in the middle of the table in that bunch, but John Higgins doesn't, so he played this a bit thicker to try and open them up, find the top cushion behind the black. Well, could have played it better, but I don't think there's anything there that will tempt Mark, and the fact he can get low on the cue ball, he can get the cue ball back to the top cushion. just looking if he plays the, the two reds in the middle of the table if he plays the bottom one the other one could run into the brown but once again you've got to get this cue ball tight to the top cushion to get any benefit well it didn't run into the brown <coughs> but he's got a good cue ball Forced into that, hand up to apologise. Been very fortunate there as Mark, not to leave anything easier than this. And John Higgins, no hesitation, sizing up this long pot. But 41 points behind, he needs to get it. Across that as well. How many times do we see it? Player makes a mistake, just had a bit of luck. And it costs you nothing and may eventually give you a chance to win the frame. Looking at the balls as though they've offended him in some way. But he was quite away with that. He was with the first, the opening ready attempted that let Mark in for his break of 41. So playing this to the left middle. Played it nicely. Not good on the pick It's hard to say if, unless you're right behind the shot, but if he plays the pink, he's got to be very careful with that cue ball going close to the left corner pocket, it looks. Well, he could get the cannon. And he'll be happy with that. He was running into the red. Took a little bit of pressure off the pot. Seven. Eight. <clears throat> Looks like a natural angle, just to, the cue ball will go in between those two reds near the left cushion. Leo, a choice of two reds. Choice of three reds, in fact. But Fifteen. What a chance this is to get his first frame on the board tonight. Yeah. Because the reds are in the ball, Ken, you'd probably think three reds, three covers still needed. Sixty. Well, you mustn't think there's a problem here, potting the green. I only say that because if the green spot is available, it could tie that red up. Nineteen. Now, as you can see, that red will still pass 20. the green into the corner. So this yellow and one more red, and it'll be snook is required, and he'll be mighty relieved. 
to get that frame on the board this evening. This to go 64 ahead 22. with 59 remaining. Chasing has done so well to get back level, but Marums just need that one frame and he's back in front again. All that hard work from John Higgins, and he's going to start chasing again. He's going to find something again. 25. Yeah, just because you close the gap doesn't mean to say you broke the back of your opponent. It's just. He's got back to level playing some outstanding snooker as John Higgins. Can he keep it going? That's the question. His opening red in this frame was, well, a mile away. 33. The red's not in, but that won't oh, matter. And John Higgins will stay in his seat and not the concession. Well, Mark Williams had a go on red and missed it. It was a bit lucky to not leave John Higgins anything easier. But Mark Williams will be mighty relieved. He's got a frame on the scoreboard this evening. One ahead, 16-15.